What's poppin' everybody? It's I'm Ready to Great, and I just wrapped up a dope interview with Dirty Glove Bastard. Ooh, I don't wanna go in your direction, swear. Bitch, I got road rage. Slapping hoes out, kicking hoes down. I'ma take them back to the... Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. How are you feeling today? Um, real good. Just woke up, so... That's all right. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Waking up and coming to join us exactly. today. Exactly. All right. So it's a new year. Mm -hmm. What are some of your goals for 2019? Uh, some some of my goals for 2019, I had wrote down like four of them. I know one of them was like to get a hit song over like 50 million views. Hmm. One of them was to get signed to a modeling agency. One of them was for my boyfriend to come home. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of them was to get a million dollars in... Um, I forgot the rest of them, but those were like the main ones on my yeah. list. Yeah. You feeling pretty confident about those goals? Most definitely. All right. All right. So, uh, 50 million streams. Mm -hmm. What's the most you've had on one song so far? Um, the most I had on the song on YouTube is 2 million on my yeah. Descap song. Okay. So, so you're trying to get that all the way up yeah. to 50 million. All right. Exactly. All right. And you, you uh, posted that you have a mood for 2019. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Can you explain what that means? Um, really, it's just like, because I be doing a lot of like Instagram um, freestyle videos or whatever. So I guess mm -hmm. people that, that's what people put me in the box in, like an Instagram rapper. And like, I just want people to stop playing with me. Like, I got real bars for real. I know how to make real music. And yeah. they're going to see that in 2019. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. How would you describe your 2018? It was hectic. It was, it was, because I, I, I took a lot of losses in like my personal life or whatever. So I feel like it was like, um, I didn't really do too much in 2018 for like a lot of different reasons. Like I was really just sitting back, you feel what I'm saying? Just like letting everything just unfold. Mm -hmm. But it's like 2019, like I just hit the ground running. Like yeah. it ain't, I ain't, I don't got no more time to play with y'all. Like yeah. it all. Yeah. And now you have your uh, new album, Welcome to the Jungle, dropping mm -hmm. next week. Yep. How excited are you, you to share this album? I'm real excited because um, this going to be like my first my first original project since 2016 mm -hmm. and the project that I dropped in 2016 that wasn't even showcasing my real talent well it showcased my talent but I wasn't comfortable in the studio yet yeah. so it was like that was when I first got in the studio and you could tell but now like I'm comfortable I know different stuff what to do so now the people really finna see like you know what I'm saying H how I create like what's my creative process and all this right here like yeah. they, they finna just see it all yeah uh, do you have a personal favorite track on there um, nah. My favorite one that was on it, I already dropped it as a single, Roll Rage. And then okay. my second favorite is probably my song, Sacrifice. Yeah. What are you talking about on Road Rage? That's really good uh, song, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Roll Rage is basically just talking about, like, literally anything that popped up in my head. Like, it wasn't no specific. Like, I ain't even come in to the song, like, often to talk about Roll Rage. Like, that just came about, and I was just like, oh, I might as well name it. You know what I'm saying? Roll rage, but like it's literally just I just went in there and said anything that came to my head. Yeah. And do you have any uh, music videos already shot, ready to go out? Yeah, I just shot roll rage video. It's supposed to be done okay. today. The director just texted me and told me to be done today. And then um, love me video. It's kind of done. It's like halfway done. I still got to shoot some more scenes too, but that should be dropping soon as well. Okay. And that was the lead single. To yeah. The album? Mm -hmm. Love me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. How's the feedback been so far for that song? Both of them doing real good. Like, they really liking it or whatever. I just got to keep pushing it, let more people like it. So, everybody, they hear the songs. They love them. So, it, yeah. that's dope. Yeah. All right. Now, what would you say your message is on this album? Um, It's really a whole lot of motivation on that album. Like, basically, because a lot of people been watching me from the jump anyway. Mm -hmm. And they see how far I done came. So, it's like, for people to see, like, that while I'm here... Where I'm at now, and then they talk in my music. You hear like I ain't really talking about struggling no more. I'm talking about like elevating. Mm -hmm. So it's like a whole lot of motivation in the whole album. Like you'll just listen to them and, and want to go chase your dreams. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Would you say that your fans are kind of growing with you? Most definitely. Like I, I got fans that that was with me since like 2015. Yeah. So it's dope for them to like be messaging me and be like, Yo, I've been watching you since you dropped this video. I'm so proud of you and stuff like that. Like yeah. it's real dope. Yeah. How would you describe your fans? Because they go pretty crazy for you. <laughs> they love you. They love you. They real loyal. Because like, I feel like I 
put so much of my personality out that they like really feel like they know me. So it's just like real dope to like feel like you really connected with somebody. And then they listen to my music, so they know my struggles. They know they know a lot about me. So you know what I'm saying. Do you uh, feel some type of responsibility in your uh, message in the music to like kind of motivate them and not kind of lead them down the wrong path? Yeah, because yeah. You, you know you you don't rap about drugs nah. or, <laughs> or stuff like that. So it was like um, people started calling me like they inspiration and they role model and all that, and that ain't what I set out to be, but that's a title that I like took like because I know a lot of rappers they don't like to be called role models because they don't like set the example. They be like, I ain't trying to be nobody role model and stuff like that, but I don't mind being somebody role model because that's what people need anyway, a role model, so. Yeah. Why do you think there's uh, so many or so little female rappers that have like the same mentality as that? Um, Because a lot of people just really want to do what they want to do and they like, um, basically like, they don't care to put the negativity out because yeah. like that's what they want to do or whatever, but it's like me, that's not what I'm about anyway, so it's not hard for me to censor that. Yeah. So. so why did you choose to use, um, you know, all these positive and, like, real-life messages in your music instead of, like, just going easy with like, <laughs> sex appeal rap like most female rappers use? Um, Because, like, like I said, like, that's not me. Like, I, it'd be different if I live my everyday life, like, doing this stuff, like, um, I always want to care about money, I always care about drugs, like care about sex that much. Like it'd be different if that's all I cared about. But like nah, like that's not my everyday life. Like my everyday life is like literally what I rap about. Like I just literally just genuinely be myself. Mm -hmm. So it's like the stuff that they do, that's probably them or that's what they probably subject to because they see, like you said, that's the easy way out. Right. So you know what I'm saying? But me, I don't care about taking the easy way out. Like I care about taking my right way. I care about being myself. So yeah. So that kind of wasn't even an option. Exactly. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. And I noticed that you and Little Kid have been working a lot uh -huh. uh, recently. Right. Uh, what's it like working with him? Um, he he worked fast. He yeah. they you know everybody that's like be rapping now they put the microphone um outside the studio. Yeah. He yeah. Himself, exactly. Yeah. Like that's how they do it or whatever. I ain't comfortable doing it like that, but a lot of people be doing it like that. But that's how he work. He work real fast. Like he do the little punching in and stuff. He yeah. do, he the reason I started wanting to do the little punching in him and got it like they. They be mm. doing that a lot, and they're the reason I started, like, okay, let me try this. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Do you so. normally write your music? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I be writing on my phone most of the time, but I had started wanting to do the little punch in thing, because it worked faster than, you know what I'm saying, writing it. So. Yeah. yeah. And so you've been experimenting, just yeah. kind of punching in? Yeah. How's that been going for you? Do you um, like it? The song, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's fast. It's like, okay, you just, like, when you writing, I feel like when I write, um, I, don't, I, I really can't tell yet if I get a different um, flow or whatever, but I know when I write, I keep going over and, per, and perfect what I'm doing. But when I'm punching in, I just say what comes to my head. And sometimes it's like either or you might get something better over here because you might say something real fine and be like, oh, keep that. Yeah. But then when you're writing, you don't keep that and you miss that. You mm -hmm. miss that good old shot. So it's just like it's either or. Um, are you and Keith working on a full project or just kind of just knocking out something? Nah, we supposed to be locking in the session though, so that'll probably come along. But right now, like, I don't, I don't know if that's something that he interested in, a, a full project right now, because, you know, yeah. he got a lot going on. Yeah. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? But probably in the future, like, we'll most definitely put yeah. something up. You guys have good chemistry on the track? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw the one preview, but that's been <laughs> really good. If I shit it on you, my fault. I ain't really sorry, but it's something good. Using nobody but go off. Still the same, and I promise I'ma die. Hood, I don't want the whole run because she lie. Good, and she not real, but I'm too solid. Real ties, yeah, I'm too vibe. I ain't never froze, bitch, I'm too vibe.